Hi, I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock on the Road. Stopped by the road here and looking at these buzz saws. This is designed to go on a Ford. Dearborn Farm Equipment. Yep. This has got the three point hitch and the clevis pins down there. They'll go right on the back of the Ford. This looks like a front mount for a farm wall. And the idea of having it is cool, but I really don't have any place to put it. But 75 bucks is a good price. It would be an interesting piece and if I burned wood, I really would think strongly about picking it up. All I have is a fireplace. I don't go through that much wood in a year's time. But I'm sure Tractor Man 44 would get this thing and have her up and humming. That would go on the front end of the H. Irving Smith had one of those. Cool machines. I'm not going to go looking around in all the barns and everything, but that's a nice loader there. Hasn't moved in years. Oh. It's got a backhoe mounted on it. That would definitely be a cool thing to have. Kind of cool things. And while I'm at it, I took a look at that uh, backhoe over there in the shed. This farm has been here over 150 years. Michigan Centennial Farm, owned by the same family. Cool place. front end off a of farm all and I don't know what the heck that is but it's definitely old but it's in so many weeds I don't want to get poison ivy on me anybody know what it is 
Could be a David Bradley for all I know. It's had some hard life though. It's got steering wheel bent. Something felt something heavy fell on it. Yep, that's not a I was thinking it was a caterpillar tractor. It's not. It's a backhoe. If you have any suggestions for new video, questions about today's video, or any of the other videos on the channel, just drop a note in the comments. You know I read them all. Thanks for watching. This video is not to be viewed by anyone under the age of 13 in the U.S. or 16 in the European Union without the express written permission of the parents or the legal guardians of the underage person. Such written permission must be on file at the local government entity in charge of enforcing the rules and regulations established by the FTC. Anyone violating these terms is admitting by default that they hold harmless the owners and operators of this channel. Any and all questions should be addressed to your local branch of the FTC.